Hey, on Project Nerdy at the moment, we're talking about our first nerdy fandom. As most viewers of Project Nerdy would probably guess, I first thought about talking about Star Wars on here because I did get into Star Wars when I was a little kid. But I decided I've talked so much about Star Wars here on Project Nerdy, I'd focus on a different nerdy fandom that I had when I was a little kid. And that is dinosaurs. Dinosaurs was one of the first things I became really obsessed about when I was young. Uh, I had a couple bookshelves in my room that were full of dinosaur figurines. Uh, had a lot of books about dinosaurs. The first job I can remember when I was a little kid, when I grew up, I wanted to be, well for me that was a paleontologist. I don't think I really knew what a paleontologist did. I just knew it was dinosaur related, so I thought that was really, really cool. Because of my uh, obsession with dinosaurs, one of my favorite uh, movies is when I, when I was a little kid was The Land Before Time. And honestly, I don't really remember when I got into dinosaurs, so this movie might have been the reason I got into dinosaurs. I, I can't really remember for sure, but it definitely was one of my favorite movies as a kid. I hadn't seen it in a long time, and actually a couple months ago, I can't remember what store I was at, but I saw this movie in like the 2 or $3 DVD bin. I thought, hey, you know, for that much, why not? Um, I hadn't got around to watching it since I bought it, and then... When I kind of thought about this being the topic for my Project Nerdy video, I thought, hey, it's a great time to rewatch it. So I actually watched it for the first time since I was a little kid yesterday. Still really enjoyed it. Uh, it there's a lot of things that surprised me when I watched it. One, I didn't realize how short it is. The movie's barely over an hour, um, which, you know, most animated movies now are closer probably to an hour and a half at least. So it kind of surprised me how short the movie is. And you actually do notice that when you watch it now because a lot of the scenes don't, really have as much dialogue and last as long as you would typically think of as animated movies today. So it, you definitely notice that difference. One thing I didn't really remember is that there was no musical moment in the movie. You know, not a, uh, the characters, I knew the characters never broke into song, but I couldn't really remember if there was a point where there was like background music with lyrics and stuff. There's nothing like that. I mean, you don't see animated movies now without a, a song in the background at least once in the movie. Even Wall-E had the famous dance scene in space. Uh, so even though there's a lot of differences there, I still really enjoyed the movie. That brings me to my um, nerdy pleasure for the week, um, and that is related to another um, DVD. Let me pull it off my shelf here. Lost. I spent the last two weeks re-watching season three of Lost. Uh, just wrapped up season three two days ago. Uh, it was really interesting to go back and watch the show. Uh, there was a lot of little things I forgot and some stuff I caught in this rewatching that I did not notice when I watched it the first time on TV. So that was really interesting. So that's definitely my nerdy pleasure of the week. My question to the viewers this week is um, what's the last TV show that you rewatch, be it on DVD or via Netflix? Let me know in the comment section below. And once again, it falls to me to punish Danny for a variety of reasons. I'll let her explain. She missed her last upload date. Uh, so I got a little creative with the, the punishment this time, Danny, and it's actually inspired by Whose Line Is It Anyway? Um, you might be familiar with the, um, I can't remember what they exactly call it, I always called it the ABC game, where it, they do a skit and every sentence has to start with the next letter in the alphabet. So my punishment for you is your next video, you have to do every sentence in ABC order, and you can start with A, or any other letter you want, I don't care which letter you start, but then you have to go through and do all the letters in the alphabet with the next sentence being the next letter in the alphabet, once you get to the last letter, if you do that route, um, you can stop. You don't have to keep on doing it. 